be here. The molarity calculation is one of the most important formulas that you will encounter in chemistry. In this video, I will explain how to use the molarity calculation to determine the molarity of a solution, the number of moles required to make a particular solution, and the volume of a solution based on the molarity. practice problem. What is the molarity of a solution containing 25.0 grams of potassium nitrate dissolved in enough water to produce 500 milliliters of solution? When solving molarity practice problems, simply write the necessary formulas first. Since the question is asking for molarity of a solution, the molarity formula is clearly needed in order to solve the problem. However, in the information, moles are not given. Therefore, moles must be calculated. At this point, write the formula for calculating moles, where moles are equal to the given mass divided by the molar mass of the compound and molarity is equal to the given moles divided by the liters of solution. Using the mole calculation first, simply input the data from the practice problem where 25 grams of potassium nitrate is given. From the formula for potassium nitrate, the molar mass may also be calculated, where the molar mass of potassium nitrate is 101 grams per mole. Now, solving for molarity, 25 divided by 101 equals 0 0.248 mole, where during the calculation, grams cancel that. At this point it is possible to calculate the molarity where molarity is equal to moles of solute divided by liters of solution. The moles of solute was calculated to be 0 0.248 mole. The total volume of the solution from the practice problem is 500 milliliters. However, the molarity formula does not accommodate milliliters. Therefore, milliliters must be converted to liters by dividing by a thousand. Now the formula becomes 0 0.248 mole divided by 0 0.500 liters. The final answer will be 0 0.495 moles per liter, or simply 0 0.495 moles. What if you're asked to determine what mass magnesium chloride is required to prepare 100 ml of a 0 0.750 molar solution. In this case, the practice problem is asking for final mass. As a hint or general rule, if the problem is asking for the mass, then the formula to use last will be the mole calculation. Since the mole calculation is being used last, clearly the molarity formula should be used first. However, in this particular case, the molarity formula must be rearranged to solve for moles. To solve for moles, simply multiply through by the liters, where moles will equal the molarity times the volume in liters. 
Now simply insert the data from the practice problem where we're given 0 0.750 molar and 100 milliliters. Clearly, the milliliters should be converted to liters. This will yield a final calculation where 0 0.750 mole per liter is multiplied times 0 0.100 liters. In this calculation, the liters will clearly cancel out. To yield a final answer, uh, 0.0750 mole. Now that the number of moles have been determined, complete the calculation, where the number of moles are equal to 0.075 mole, and the molar mass of magnesium chloride was found to be 94 grams per mole. Solving for mass, simply multiply through by 94. This gives a final calculation of 0.075 mole times 94 grams per mole. Clearly, moles will cancel. This generates a final answer where the mass is determined to be 7.05 grams. The molarity formula may also be used to determine the volume of the solution. Consider the following practice problem. What volume of 0.35 molar HCl solution can be produced if 0.25 mole of the compound is used? The volume may be easily calculated by using the molarity formula. However, in this particular case, the molarity formula must be rearranged to solve for the volume. To do so, simply multiply through by liters and divide through by the molarity. This will yield the following relationship, where liters are equal to the number of moles divided by the molarity. Next, simply insert the values from the practice problem, where 0.25 mole is given and 0.35 molar is given. At this point divide 0.25 mole by 0.35 mole per liter. This will yield the following result. 0.714 liter or 714 milliliters.